What's going on, y'all? We are back with another reaction video today. We got Michael Mayer, tight end from Notre Dame, 6'4", 251. Walter Football has him ranked as their number one overall tight end this year in this draft. The projected 40 times is a 4'6", 9". Um, I said Mayer caught 71 receptions for 840 yards and 7 touchdowns of 21. As the freshman 6'4", 251 pounder stepped in for Cole Komet. Excuse me. The Fighting Irish didn't miss a beat in the transition. He caught 42 passes for 450 yards and two touchdowns in 20. He has a good skill set and upside to produce more over the next year or two. This pre previous season, they say Mayor recorded 67 catches for 809 yards and nine touchdowns in 22. Okay, that's good. Really good. Team sources say Mayor does not have great size. He's 6'4", 250. What? And is not especially athletic for a receiving tight end but he is a natural receiver. They feel underwhelmed by his blocking, but he will get drafted for his ability to contribute as a receiver. Given the skill set, other prospects could definitely pass Mayer as a top tight end for 2023. In the NFL, he could be a three down starter and solid receiving tight end. One year, he has 71 catches for 840 yards. Next year, 67 catches for 809. I don't, it's really good for a tight end, so I don't I don't see nothing negative about it. I right, wanna check out his career highlights. Shout out to Just Bombs for this one. Oklahoma State now. Books got a crosser. The freshman mayor. Can he get out of town? Okay. Okay. In my head, I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking baby grunk, and then they just said baby grunk. So very interesting. Sheesh. Lined up at receiver. Oh, good move. That's smooth for a guy that's 6'4", 250. Great catch. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. In the backfield. That's a good block. I don't see how he could be a bad blocker. He has a huge size advantage. It's good extension on that catch. Got a uh, got a nice catch radius. I like these units. Gold and white. That's kind of kind of fire. Line him up at receiver. Oh my gosh. Subtle route runner, bro. For that size, that's, that's kind of scary. Good stiff for him. Oh my. All right, all right. Based off of highlights, I ain't gonna lie, he looked like a day one starter. Stephon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy stretch. Going to the Broncos or Colts. I feel like Colts got a decent amount of tight ends. So many different things for the Irish. 
I ain't gonna lie, any team they get them gonna be lucky, bro. You don't come across dominant tight ends very often, you know? When we really think about it, like Kittle and um Kelsey are two, I feel like, generational right now. You know, prior to that, I think it was uh Gronk and Jimmy Graham. Prior to that, you know, like it's not many. You have some good tight ends, that's some great tight ends. Elite and generational, you know, those don't come too often. You know, Darren Waller, I think he's a great tight end. But I think this guy has, he got, he got really, <laughs> I think this guy has really, really high uh, potential. So I, th I think he'd be a good pickup for anybody. Antonio Gates, yeah, that was that before, before the Jimmy Graham and, uh, well, Jason, no, I, ain't gonna lie. I would say Jason Witten was generational. He was a really good tight end, though. You put, you could put him in like good to great. Gates, uh, what's his name? Tony Gonzalez. I seen Tony Gonzalez a few months ago in the airport. I ain't like get to say something to him, but I seen him. Clive Walford. Did Tanya just fall off the map? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I I feel like Tony was solid, but I don't. Th I ain't, I didn't think of him as like just elite like that. Like when we watch his highlights, a lot of the passes were open. You know, like he got the right plays called to him at the right time. Good scheme. You know, it wasn't the same like when you watch Kittle and and Travis, just the lead route runners, just nice route runners, nice after the catch. He was solid in my opinion. I, I'm not a hater. I'm just I'm I'm just I'm being honest off of what I see. Good player, but like I said, it's a difference, you know? It's a difference, for sure. He was a dog for a few years. I think that was like one year he had a, the Pro Bowl season, and that was it. Second and goal for the four with a flag down. Cohen crushing his man in the end zone. Smooth route runner for, for to be 6'4", 250. Very smooth route runner. Alpine. Protection is great. They were trying to. He had a lot of contact to fight through. They were trying to stay on him. Trying to double coverage and pass them off. Okay. He got little wheels too. If he could run a four six four five draft stock, gonna be crazy. Especially a four five. I say first round pick in my opinion. If you can run a four five, automatic first rounder. That was a good play call. Jeez. That's a good pass. Real short window right there. They play Cincinnati. It would have been interesting to see uh, Sauce lined up on him. Hey, yeah, McCarry. Oh my gosh. And here is Pine, third and one, takes a hit out to Michael Mayer. He ties that record, spins forward, still. Good catch. I don't know, man. Like I said, he looked like he could be special. We just got to see. Got to see if it, if it really play out that way. Mm. Great big. Great big. That was a good recommendation. All right, man. We'll end it there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that. Then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it. Part of God's plan.